The year is 2080, and the earth seems to be getting worse by the day. War, riots, hate, and most of all, death. People are selfish here. There is no law anymore. The law is whoever decides to take control these days. In the United States, the mob is the law. The mob will protect you, but only if you do what they want. They do not look kindly upon those who screw up working for them. A woman from the United States has certainly experienced this. A small town girl named Candace Anderson has learned what it means to be on the mob's bad side. Candace found herself caught up with the mob a few years back. It began as a side job. You know, basic drug dealing and smuggling for them. Then they wanted her to step up her game. Trying to make a hit woman out of Candace, the mob saw great potential in her. When told to complete a task of killing a group of almost 15 citizens, Candace knew her time working for the mob was finished. She, didn't, she denied this offer, stole a couple hundred thousand dollars from them, and fled immediately. At this time, people are moving to new planets all across the galaxy. Candace, along with her boyfriend of three years, Jack, come up with enough money to get on board a cruise ship to the planet of Saturn. It is now day five of a nine-day trip to Saturn. Going crazy in here. Candace is sitting on the bed in her passenger room aboard the spaceship. She scans the room for the fifth time today. Her boyfriend Jack is standing in the kitchen ten feet away, pouring a glass of wine. I guess this is what I get. What'd you say? Nothing. I just wish I didn't have to get to this. Plus, I'm going absolutely stir-crazy sitting in this room. Well, I wish things hadn't gotten to this either. But it is what it is, and we're just going to make the most of it. You should get out of this room for a bit. You always have been the optimistic one here, haven't you? <laughs> Call it optimism if you want. Maybe if I didn't pull what I pulled. Selling drugs, robbing. It's okay. How did I get to that shit? What kind of person does that? Candace, you had no choice. Yeah, no choice. You're right. Look, it's all gonna be okay. I think hiding in this room is just getting to you. Why don't you get out for a little bit? And risk someone seeing me? If someone knew you were here, I think we would know by now. I've talked with some of the other passengers. They all seem excited to get out too. They all want to start fresh. See, everyone's in the same boat. They're all just ready to start fresh. So many of them are staying in the rooms, too. Like, I've barely seen anyone. Everyone's just hiding out till Saturn. That's because 90% of the passengers got absolutely <laughs> hammered the first three nights and have been hung over as hell ever since. We, you and I, we, on the other hand, sat in this room the whole time. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm tweaking. I just think I should wait the trip out in the room. No, Candace, you shouldn't. We're over halfway there. Go work out. Go have a drink. Go use what we paid for. I'm going to head down to the fitness center. I just need to get rid of some of these negative vibes. Maybe I'll grab a drink after. Meet me down there if you want. Oh, I will. I need something more than this trash wine that they left us for here. I'll be at the bar in about an hour. Candace steps out into the hallway of the 23rd floor. She looks both ways, then freezes for a moment. At the end of the hallway to her left, she notices a man in a black suit walking into his bedroom. Trying to remain calm, she immediately turns to the elevator. Hmm, that's strange. It's nothing, Candace. It's just a man in a suit. Stop scaring yourself. A few minutes into her run, Candace's heart drops. Looking through the glass windows of the fitness center, she sees another man in a suit walk by. This man, however, does not look in, but rather continues walking towards the bar. It's nothing, Candace. Stop tweaking. 
It's nothing. Just go shower off. Hey, I grabbed you a drink. How was your workout? It was good, but I'm just confused. Well, what's wrong? See that guy sitting at that table over there? Yeah, the, the one in the black suit? Yeah, I got a feeling he followed us on the ship. I saw him walk past the gym when I was working out. He just gave me the creeps. So, you think that guy over there followed you here? Yeah, I do. Guy gives me the worst vibes ever. <laughs> Candace, this trip was the most underground trip we could find. We chose the most low-key plan to head to. None of those guys are following you here. You think? Yes, I think. I hope you're right. I think you need another drink. Yeah, you're right about that one. Hey, bartender, over here, please. Hey, what can I get for you? Candace scans the bartender's face for a moment. The bartender does not break her smile. Uh, hi. Yeah, just another dry martini, please. Of course. Let me go get that for you. Does she seem a little too happy to you? Nah, I just think she's been really lonely. She told me earlier that this is, like, the most passengers she's had at nights. Probably just, like, making good tips or something. I guess. Just ease up. We're almost there. Is there anything else I can get for you two? Mm, nope. I think we're good for now. All right, well, just call me if you need me. Enjoy. I don't like her. Shocker. But, you know, you're right, Jack. To new beginnings. Cheers. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, it's her. She's with him, too. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on them. Make your move later tonight. We can't let any of the passengers see anything. Hey, you two. How about another drink? Fine, Jack. Let's go back to the room. I'm gonna be sick. I'll go grab some waters. I'll be back in ten. Candace, what's what's wrong? They know. They know. Oh my god, they know. Who knows what? They know we're here. They found us. We need to go now. Candace, calm down no. and look at me. No. You think someone from the mob's here? Here. Look. Nice try, Samantha. Who's Samantha? It's me, Jack. I'm Samantha. I never told him my actual name was Candace. Samantha was just a stage name. Who else would have known that? Well, maybe... No, Jack, not maybe. They followed us, and they're here for me. We need to get out of here now. And where are we gonna go? We're in the middle of space. I don't know. We'll find a way out. We need to go. Now. Candace and Jack turn the corner of the hallway to see one of the men in a black suit walking towards them. Candace quickly grabs Jack and runs the opposite way. Here! The elevator. Out of the elevator steps another man in a black suit from earlier. Jack grabs Candace's arm and they head to the stairwell next to the elevator. Candace, I have an idea. I'm all yours. I ran the brochure about a last minute change of heart option. Something about passengers changing their minds and being shipped back to Earth. Jack, that means there has to be a small ship or something on board here. Yeah, we just need to find it. I'll try anything at this point. We can't be stuck in here with those guys. Jack! Jack! Candace! Candace! Get off me! Candace! What have I done? I knew this would happen. You can't escape the mob. You never do. 
I need to think of something fast. The bartender. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need your help. You gotta help me. Ma'am, what's wrong? You... You have to help me. They took my boyfriend. I need to get off the ship. Slow down, sweetheart. Slow down. Here, take a seat. Let me grab you something to drink. I don't need a drink. I just need help. Here, I poured you some tea. Take a sip and just relax. I need that last minute option. I need a way off. What are you talking about? The option to get out. We read it in the brochure. Send me back to Earth. Oh, sweetheart, there is no way off. Candace stops for a moment, feeling lightheaded. She looks down at the tea and then back up at the bartender. What? What did you say? I said there's no way off. My eyes are getting blurry. What? What's in this? Now I said you just sit down and relax. It'll all be okay. Boys, over here. No! No one on board is finding out about this. Get that bitch now! No, no, no! Crap! Maybe this one. Yes. Janitor's closet. Okay, it'll have to do. Okay, it's okay, girl. It's okay. You're fine. Just, just wait them out. There's so many passengers and crew members on board. Just wait this out and then go find someone to tell. Oh God, please God, please. No. Jack? My friends, we found her. <laughs>